Amazon is reportedly in the process of rolling out its own Amazon branded TV. And Morgan Stanley is out with a note outlining three reasons why this launch could be a needle mover. The stock is marginally higher today in a down market. The rest of Fang is mostly in the red. Joining us now is the analyst behind that note, Morgan Stanley's Brian Nowak. Brian, Amazon has its hand in so many different businesses. It already has devices. It already has, you know, a Fire TV stick. Why would this television set be such a needle mover? Good morning. Uh, thanks, thanks, Julia, for having me. No, I think there's uh, there's 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 three sort of big points here. The the first thing is that you you brought up the Fire sticks. We know about the Echoes. This is sort of we would argue one of the next steps in Amazon's continued push into the Internet of Things into essentially controlling the mainframe of your home through a television. And so you think about the potential unlock there, if this really is a great product, you could theoretically be sitting on your couch, watching that Macy's Day Parade, asking Alexa in the television to change the channel, turn the volume up, turn the lights down, um, order an Uber if you want to leave, you could control different floors of your room, all from just sitting on your couch talking to your television. So it removes the point of friction of an extra device and gets them more into the Internet of Things to control the home. That's the first point here. But my, yeah. Go ahead. But my question, Brian, is how, how does this tie in to Amazon's big push into advertising? Could this be the mm -hmm. next generation of interactive advertising where I watch something on TV and then I buy it immediately on Amazon? We think so. Yeah, we think that's another one of the key potential unlocks here because there is a there's a big shift toward connected TV advertising and digital TV advertising. And in Amazon, they have a great advertising business on Amazon.com. They have a budding source of engagement of people watching Prime Video where you could serve ads. And now I think the question is, if you have an Amazon-powered television, to what extent do you have Amazon extend their advertising offering onto the television. And you, you could actually have new performance and transaction driven ads. Think of it as Amazon knows a lot about you because you're logged in. You know They know the type of toilet paper they use. They know what you like to purchase in your home. So they could enable advertisers to serve you targeted ads while you're watching that television that theoretically with a click or even just asking Alexa to buy the item you're being shown could put a direct link between advertising dollars and transactions through but voice Brian, search. Here's the part that I don't get. Can't yeah. you do all of that with software? Couldn't you do it with an external box that's just so great that people have to have it? TVs have a long replacement cycle. It's probably smart in retrospect that Apple didn't come out with a TV and instead had a box and focused on software. So if Amazon's going to commit, to, plus uh, Samsung can always make panels for cheaper. So they're going to have to innovate in chips and in other areas to, if they're going to be a premium product. I mean, that's a lot of commitment uh, without a price structure that's that's particularly awesome, why not just do it with software? Yeah, I think it's it's an interesting point of the, the the number of boxes because you know we've had all of these boxes building up in our homes over the past three or four years between Echoes and Apple TVs and Fire Sticks and Chromecast Sticks, etc. You know, we would argue that big picture, those individual devices are sort of just stepping stones to where we get over the long term with fewer devices that can control everything. And so the reason why it's so important to be in the television, which is still a main part of a lot of people's homes on the wall in the living room, enable the ability to power more devices and do more just by talking to your television. Okay. One eliminates all those boxes and the friction and just unlocks a lot more uh, touch points with consumers. So therefore, Brian, to achieve some of the uh, strategic goals that you've outlined here, does Amazon have to win that premium TV spot in the house, the biggest TV, the stuff with the one with most of the stuff connected to it? Or should they aim for a value TV that's maybe in the bedroom or, you know, in the guest room and then work their way in from there? Yeah, I mean, so we, we don't know the exact price points of the TVs yet, but I think, I think you're probably going to see a broad strategy. I mean, certainly you have seen, you've seen Alphabet through uh, Android television continue to extend their price points and the number and the price of televisions that they enable. And so it's sort of like we see over the next three to five years, you're going to see more and more push into by Alphabet and Amazon into more televisions at more price points to ultimately just have more potential control over the home and over the advertising potential within those TVs and throughout the home.